In this video, we are going to learn how to solve this jam physics repeated questions under the subtopic propagation of lights and light energy. Alright, so we are going to practice with 20 repeated questions for this subtopic. So let's get started. The first question here says, which of the following correctly describes the position of the sun, earth and moon during a solar eclipse? we have solar eclipse is eclipse of the sun so we have the earth is in front of the sun and the moon is behind the earth no the sun earth and moon are in a straight line with earth in the middle no we have the sun earth and moon are in a straight line with moon in the middle yes so for eclipse of the sun it occurs when the moon is between the sun and the earth all right so that's the correct option to this question option c the sun earth and moon are in a straight line with the moon in the middle so that's solar eclipse for you or eclipse of the sun okay so let's go to the next question which is this one it says a man 1.5 meter tall is standing three meter in front of a pinhole camera whose distance between the hole and the screen is 0.1 meter what is the height of the image of the man on the screen alright so guys for this particular question we are going to apply this formula image distance which is v over object distance which is u alright because image height let me use hi over object height let me use ho okay so in this question we have our image distance to be say a man 1.5 meter tall is standing 3 meter in front of a pinhole camera whose distance between the hole and the screen is 0 0.1 meter what is the height of the image so we are looking for the height of the image alright so in this question we have our HO that's object height to be 1.5 and we have our image distance to be v to be 0 0.1 we have our object distance u to be 3 so these are in meter so when you plug them on the formula you're going to have 0 0.1 over 3 equals let's call our image height x over the object height is 1.5 so let me, when you cross multiply let's punch this on the calculator and see what it's going to give us so we have 1.5 times 0.1 divide this by 3 so we have the output to be 0.05 meter. The correct option is option A. Alright, so that's it for this question. Let's wipe this now. Solve the next subject question. Okay, so the next subject question will be this one. It says, What happens to the rays in a parallel beam of light diverge at the travel, they converge at the travel, they meet at infinity, they intersect? So the correct option is on option C. They meet at infinity. Alright, so let's go to the next repeated question which is this one it says the direction of the path taken by light is called way option a is correct so let's go to the next one which is this one it says when the sun moon and the earth are as shown in the diagram above um, an object an observer standing in x is in umbra and sees a total eclipse no Umbra and sees a partial eclipse. No, the number and sees a partial eclipse. Correct. So the correct option this question is option C. The number and sees a partial eclipse. All right. So that's it for this question. Let's go to the next one, which is this one. It says an object is placed 10 meter from a pinhole camera of length 25 cm. Calculate the linear magnification. So for this question, we are going to make use of linear magnification will be image distance over object distance this is you so the image distance we have an object of 
Now just place 10 meter from the pinhole camera of length 25 cm. Calculate the linear magnification. So we have the image distance to be firstly you need to convert this 25 cm to meter. Alright, so the image distance is 25 cm. When you convert 25 cm to meter, divide both sides by 100. So when you point this in the calculator, you're going to have 0 0.25. So now, it will be image distance 0 0.25 over 10. So let's point this in the calculator. This will give us 0 0.25 divide 10. So we have the output to be 0.025. Now the options are in standard form. To represent this in standard form, this is go one, two. So we move two times. This will give us 2.5. When you are going forward, the power will be negative times 10 to the power negative two, and that will be the correct answer to this question. The correct option is what option? A, which is 2.5 times 10 to the power negative 2. Okay, so that's it for this question. Let's wipe this now. Solve the next repeated question. Okay, so let's wipe this. The next repeated question will be this question. It says, a man 1.5 meter tall is standing 3 meter in front of a pinhole camera whose distance between the hole and the screen is 0 0.1 meter. What is the height of the image of the man on the screen? I think we have solved this question before. We got the answer to be 0. Point 0.5 meter that option B here. Alright, so let's go to the next question, which is this one. It says the pinhole camera produces a less sharply defined image when the screen is further for the pinhole. Option B pinhole is larger. Option C illumination is less. Option D object is further for the pinhole. So the correct option to this question is option. B, which is NP who is larger. Alright, so let's go to the next subject question, which is this one. It says the blood image is produced by a pinhole camera with a very small hole is attributed to the correct option is the fraction option A. So let's go to the next one, which is this one. It says the eclipse of the sun occurs when the option A sun is between the moon and the earth. No moon is not completely hidden in the Earth's shadow. No, moon is between sun and the earth. The moon is between the sun and the earth. Correct option is option B. All right, moon is between the sun and the earth. That's it. Let's go to the next subject question. Which is this one now? Before we attend this question, if you are new to our channel, ensure that you subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. Really appreciate this, guys. All right, having known that this question said the direction of the path taken by light is called. I think I've answered this question before. The correct option is option B, which is way is called way. The next question is this one. It says a pin a pinhole camera is placed 20 meter in front of a building so that the image form on a screen is 5 cm from the pinhole. If the image is 2.5 cm high, the height of the image the height of the building will be alright. So for this question, we are going to make use of this formula. Image distance over object distance. This is you equals image height over object height. So we are looking for if the image is 2.5 cm high, the height of the building. So we are looking for the object height, right? So you convert this 2.5 to meter and also this 5 cm to meter. So in this question, we have our we are looking for object height and the image height to be 2.5. That's 2.5 over 100. Let's check the outputs on the calculator. They are 2.5 divide 100. So divide 100 so we have it to be 0 0.025 okay so we have 0 0.025 all right so it's now in meter okay now the object height is unknown now in this question our 
image distance will be a pivot camera is displaced 20 meter in front of the building so that the image formed on the screen so the image distance is 5c and converted to meter that 5 over 100 which will give you when you point this in the calculator you are going to have 0 0.05 meter okay let's verify so we have 5 divided 100 yeah it's correct and lastly we have the object distance u is 300 meter so let's plug these parameters in the formula so the image distance is we have 0 0.05 over the object distance is 300 because the image height is 0 0.025 over object height is unknown so when you cross multiply let's punch this on the calculator we're going to have 0 0.05 times okay sorry let's do firstly 0 0.025 times 300 so we have 7.5 okay so we are left with we have 7.5 equals 0.05x divide both sides by 0. Point, 0. Point, this is 0.05 okay 0.05 as you can see itself so our final result will be when you check divide this by 0.05 so we have it 150 meter the correct option is option a that is for this question let's wipe this and solve the next repeated question so the next repeated question will be this question it says the sharpness of the boundary of the shadow of an object is determined by the nature of the object opacity of the object rays of light passing through the object intensity of light striking the object the correct option is option d the next question is this one you say what happens when the moon is blocks the light of the sun from reaching the earth so we're going to have a solar eclipse or eclipse of the sun all right so the correct option is option c the next question is this one an object of height 9 cm is placed in front of a pinhole camera of size 6 cm how far is the object from the pinhole if the image form is 3 cm high okay so we're going to apply image distance over object distance equals image height over object height so in this question you are looking for the object height all right so from this question okay in this question we are looking for how far is the object we are looking for the object distance basically so this is going to give us we're making this from a view by u equals h i over h o so in this question we have our image distance to be 6 over the object distance is unknown equals we have the image height to be how far is object from the pinhole if the image form is 3 cm high so 3 over the object height is 9 so when you cross multiply, you're going to have 9 times 6. Alright, divide this by 3. To make a solar formula. So 18. The correct option is what option C. 18 cm will be the object's distance. Alright, so that's it for this question. Let's wipe this now and solve the next repeated question. Alright, so the next repeated question will be this question. It says the eclipse of the sun occurs when the moon is between the sun and the air. The correct option is option D. Alright, so let's go to the next question. Which is this one? It says which of the above is a phenomenon of total solar eclipse? We have total internal reflection of light, conservation of light energy, relative motion of the earth, sun, and moon. 
quintilinear propagation of line. So the two correct statements here is, is I, 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 and I, B. The correct option is option D. I, 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 and I, B. Both with linear propagation of light and uh, relative motion of the Earth, Sun, and Moon. Uh, correct phenomenon of total solar eclipse. So the next question will be this one. An object of high force CM is placed in front of a cuboid pinhole camera of size CCM. If the image form is 2CM, how far is the object from the pinhole? Okay, so in this question, we are still looking for the object distance. Okay, so our basic formula we have B over U equals H I over H O. So in this question, we have the object, we have the image distance to be 6 over object distance is unknown equals the image height, if the image form is, is 2 over the object height is 4. So we cross multiply. This is going to give you 6 times 4. Okay, divide by 2. So the object distance should be 12 cm. Option C is correct. Alright, so let's wrap this now. Solve the next repeated question. Alright, so the next repeated question will be this one. It says a blood image produced by a pinhole camera with a very small hole is attributed to. So you can answer this question before the fraction. Lastly, before we end the class, this question. It says if the distance between the image and the pinhole camera is reduced by half the size of the image of the object is option a is half remains the same is quadrupled option d is double the correct option is option d when you find the expression you arrive at it being doubled so the correct option is option d is doubled so guys this basically can do problems involving propagation of light under light energy for jam physics hope you learned something interesting from the video practice between typical questions if you are new to our channel once more, ensure that you subscribe to this channel for more of my videos. Also, like, share, and comment on this video. Let me know if you for what I learned from this video. If you seem to have any specific questions to ask regarding what I have talked about in this video, feel free to leave a question in the comment section below and I will ensure to give you a response. Alright, so ensure that you are part of our channel membership by clicking on the join button to join the community where you are receiving special information that will help to simplify economic problems. Join us now if you like you did. Now click on the screen and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.